My questions um, relate uh, more generally to the Attorney-General's Department, and in particular the dealing with the issue of the plebiscite. Um, you mentioned um, uh, before, um, uh, Mr um, Acting Deputy Secretary, uh, mentioned that some uh, work of the department had been devoted to um, exploring this uh, plebiscite and liaising with other uh, departments and ministerial offices. Can you give me a bit of a sense of how much time has been devoted to this project? In terms of staff time? Uh, not off the top of my head. Sorry, Senator. I'll, I'd, I'd have to take that on notice. Yeah, that, that'd be good if you could. C can I ask... Um, uh, Senator Sims, I know this is impressionistic, but I, I do have a sense that there's been a, a lot of work done by the department on this and a lot of a, attention uh, devoted to it since um, the latter part of last year. A lot of, a lot of time. Can, can I ask how uh, or what um, kind of staff would be devoting time to this? Is it senior level staff or...? Could I say it's about three or four or five staff have been on this for a while, Senator. Mm. Uh, the levels would be at the... Well, at least the Hall can explain what levels they're at. Yeah. Thank you, Senator. Uh, so. There, um, the levels range from EL1, well, executive level two, uh, down to a sort of APS five, six level. And I'm, I'm very new, so you might oh, have to tell me salary ranges there. The salary. <laughs> sort of if you like, Senator, it's, um, if, if you have uh, APS five, you, six like. and, and, an, and an EL1, they'd be doing the sort of day-to-day -day work. They'd be under the direction of, of an EL2. And of yes. course, the people at the table, so, uh, Ms Williams is responsible for the branch that administers the Marriage Act. Mr Hall's responsible for the division which that is in and um, I'm responsible for the groups in. So we dedicate time to it as, as required as well. Okay, so just so I'm clear, so four or five quite senior... In, in, four or five in addition to us. In addition to yourselves, okay. And you're saying they're at, at what salary level or what increment? You don't have to tell me the actual figure, but was it ESE? Take me through the classifications again. EL1 down to... APS, EL, sorry, EL2 down yes. to APS6. Okay. So we can certainly take on notice and just give you a table that tells you yeah. what that equates to yeah, in terms of be, salary. Yeah, that'd be great. And, and a sense of the staff time as well that's been devoted to yeah. um, the project. Um, could I also ask, um, I mean, it was certainly apparent to, um, uh, to me, uh, attorney, in, in the response that you were giving, that this is certainly quite a complex um, endeavour involving a liaising with a range of different arms of, of the government. It's also the, um, the first time that a, a government has approached uh, a legislative question in this way. We haven't had a, um, a plebiscite since, I think, the 1950s, if I'm correct, or even, even earlier. Uh, so well, what there, kind there of... Are, there, there have actually been three, Senator. There were the two conscription plebiscites in 1916 and 1917. And there was the National Song plebiscite in, I think, 1977. Yeah, the last one was about conscription, I think, wasn't it? Well, there was the National Song plebiscite in yeah. 1977. Strange that people getting married could be compared to sending people to war. But um, in terms of um, the uh, time, staff time that's being done, uh, attributed to this, has there also been commissioning of high-level legal advice to deal with some of the complexities? I mean, I imagine your department would be in a position to provide that uh, as well. Yes. Um, can you give me a sense, is that in addition to the, the four or five staff that have been managing the project? Yes. I think, uh, yes. Can you give me a sense of how many staff in addition have been working on this? Uh, again, we'll have to take that on, on notice, Senator, but as I indicated in response to Senator Gallagher's questions earlier, as issues are discussed as options, mm. we're trying to position ourselves so we can respond to them should they be chosen as the policy of, of, of the government. And in doing that, um, so provisions are, dra are drafted from time to time. And in doing that, issues come up and you might go off uh, to the Australian Government Solicitor and get some advice. But there's not a dedicated team of no, lawyers and addition departments sitting around working on, on this issue. Yeah no, yeah, no, of course, I understand that. But in terms of these uh, legal officers that are providing this advice, can you give me a sense of, again, what kind of um, uh, level they would be employed at within uh, the so department? So they would... The ones you so far would work in primarily in the Australian Government Solicitor, and uh, I'd have to take that on notice. I'd have the detail. If you could, and also the amount of staff time that's been um, uh, allocated to uh, providing that advice to the government as well. Sure. They, they, they cost their time, so we'll be able to do that. Yes, that, that, would, be, that would be great. Do they charge per the hour, or...? 
I think they charge in the sort of six-minute units. Six-minute uh, units? Yeah. Wow. It's so. certainly a costly endeavour on top of the $160 million. We've also got well, I, I a senior legal uh, counsel Senator, providing advice at six-minute increments. That, wow. That's the usual, um, I'm sorry, Senator, the usual way in which legal uh, advice time, whether private yeah. or Probably provided sure. his cost, it's just a matter of convention. Sure. Do you have a sense of how much a free vote in the parliament would cost, attorney? Um, well, Senator, uh, I think people have done studies as to how much per day it costs to run this place. Um, but um, uh, if the point you're making, Senator, is that this could be put before the parliament more cheaply than um, by with uh, after a plebiscite, um, that's self-evidently true, but that's not the purpose of a plebiscite. The purpose of a plebiscite, as the former Prime Minister, Mr Abbott, indicated, was so um, on an issue which I think we would all accept is an issue of um, very great sensitivity, uh, in which there are very strong feelings on both sides of the question, uh, to enable the, uh, the, the choice to be made by the Australian people in a, in a democratic exercise. With, with respect, um, uh, Minister, I might um, ask you a few questions about the implications of this plebiscite formula. Is the government also um, considering, as part of its approach to, to this, um, potentially rolling the plebiscite model out to other um, social issues? Is that no. part of your, your thinking? No. Why precisely has this particular issue been singled out then? Um, I think it's an issue of unique sensitivity, Senator. How so? Um, I, I can't really, I, I, I can't elaborate. But my view, and I think it's the view of the, was the view of the government party room which discussed the issue um, uh, last August, that there are uh, unique sensitivities about this issue. People are very emotionally engaged in it on both sides of the question. Um, it does, uh, involve a very important social change were it to succeed because it would redefine marriage, which most people, I think, regard as a very fundamental social institution. Um, that's not an argument for or against the question, of course, but uh, uh, I, th I think most people would acknowledge that there are special sensitivities about this issue which makes it unique. Uh, but the government's not considering um, looking at this uh, model for other kind of complex social issues. No. I mean, one that's been put to me is the issue of euthanasia, for instance. No. You wouldn't be considering having a, a broad not a, not uh, public policy. Not at the moment, Senator. I mean, not at the Sen moment. No, Senator, my, my own view is that the, 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 the more democracy we have, the better. This is the ultimate democratic resolution of a sensitive social issue. But at the moment, the government is not uh, considering the use of a plebiscite. Uh, for um, the resolution of other social C questions. Certainly leaving, certainly leaving it open by, by the sounds of it. Well, well I, I don't want to send any false hairs running. It's not under consideration for any other uh, sensitive social questions. It's not a bad idea on euthanasia, though. The majority of the public support it. Mm. Um, can, I, um, can I ask, um, or I guess just to summarise in terms of so that I ensure that we've captured the, the things that I'm wanting to get costed. So I'm wanting to get... Um, information on the amount of um, staff time within the minister's department and the um, professional classifications of those. But in addition, I'm also wanting to get um, information on the senior legal advice that's being um, provided, and in particular, at what rate that's been charged for the well, six look, Senator, Senator, increments. Senator, we, we, will, we will get all that information to you. I'm just uh, wanting to assist you, um, attorney, in summarising the information I'm after. Sure, that's, that's fine, but I think it is not controversial that having a plebiscite will cost a lot more money than dealing with the matter in the parliament. Uh, I don't think anybody is disputing that, but what you have to uh, factor in is the value of having this issue resolved by the Australian people in a thoroughly democratic manner, and I don't think it's very easy to put a financial price on the benefit of doing that. Well, um, look, I don't want to engage in a debate um, over it, uh, Attorney. Now it's not the appropriate format for that. But I, I guess great. what I was trying to uh, trying to tease out is the costs associated with this hugely complex and elaborate scheme that the government's investigating. Given we haven't embarked on something like this 
um, in the past, and certainly the advice I've been given demonstrates that this is a hugely a costly and complex endeavour for your department to deal with. I mean, we've got a huge number of senior staff that have been dealing with it, senior legal well, counsel Senator, Senator Sims, as with, well. With, with respect, with respect, I mean, although it's a plebiscite, not a referendum, um, we have embarked on many occasions of national public choice. In our history, there have been some 40 or more, there have been more than 40 constitutional referenda. Uh, there have been 44 general elections. There have been three plebiscites. Um, there have been a few half Senate elections. Um, so this is not something that it's uh, unusual for Australia to do. It is a large exercise, but um, it, it would be wrong to say that a plebiscite has unique complexities that a constitutional referendum, let alone a, an election, lack. Yeah, but I guess the point is that the plebiscite is being undertaken uh, in circumstances where it's not necessary to undertake a, um, a plebiscite when the parliament has the authority to make the change. I mean, you do concede that, don't you? Well, uh, I, I don't. Um, from well, a strictly, so you don't from concede, a strict, you don't strictly, concede that the parliament has the authority to make the decision on this From a strictly legal matter. point of view, you're right. But, of course, this isn't being done um, in order to meet some constitutional test. It's being done to engage the Australian public in the resolution of what I continue to say but is a uniquely the sensitive with, and important social with question. With respect, Attorney, that wasn't the question I asked. I asked you whether the parliament has the authority to make the decision. Well, the parliament can and ultimately would because if the... But the parliament could just amend the Marriage Act, couldn't it? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Look, I don't have any further questions on this. Can I Thank just you. ask a question on that while you're doing costings? Would I be able to be provided a costing for that, what it would cost to run that plebiscite on the day of the next election? Because I've been told that will be about one-fifth of what it would cost if you we'll didn't understand it. We'll ta I don't, I'll take that on notice, Senator. Thank you. OK. Well, thank you, uh, Senator Sim. We'll uh, break Chair, there. Could, Sorry? Can I just clarify one yep. thing in response to the Senator's comments? When we spoke about those staff earlier, they are... Of course, there's the plebiscite issue and there's the issue of amending the Marriage Act. And so those same people are working on both. And that work has to occur regardless. So I can't... I just wanted to clarify we're unable to break it down to, to that level. But that work would have to occur because there's the issue of amending the Act and any consequential amendments that might arise. So I just wanted to clarify that point. Yeah, Thanks, I accept sir. that. Thank you.